All right. Yeah, I'm cool. Isha, should the men have helped her out or what? I don't think that they should have fought for her or anything, but they could have been like, yo, man, chill out. Let's go. You like you, you know, you ain't you don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. When Quentin asked you the question, like, if I'm just standing there and he bluffing with a brick, I'm probably like, bro, that's not, it ain't that deep. If I'm just standing there in proximity, you know what I'm saying? But I probably would have said something to her, like, yo, shut the fuck up. Because that had to be what was happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't that serious for the brick, my boy. Like, <laughs> what could she have possibly There's said? There's nothing that she could have ever said. There's nothing that she could have said, Ham. There's nothing she could have said that would warrant the brick. But now I'm thinking, because if Quentin, is it Quentin asked me what I would have done if he hit her with the brick? And I don't even know how. I think I don't even know. If I'm standing there, I probably wouldn't be like, I don't know if he would have hit her with the I don't know if I would have like let him hit her with the brick. But I don't even, they see, they from around this way. They might even know, boy. You know what I'm saying? He might be the illest nigga in Nebraska for all you know. And if that's the case, ain't nobody jumping in that. Period. So I, I don't know. I mean, uh, it's 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 more difficult than people give it credit. You know what I'm saying? Because people's principles don't outweigh what they have to risk. That's why you it's niggas not- use pronouns. So I guess the the question, the other question is: So as a woman, do you think that anytime a man asks for your number, you're supposed to give it to him just for like safety? Sometimes you have to, but you shouldn't have to. I think it's probably the way she said it. She probably was real rude about it. She just seemed like she's rude the way she did it. She don't seem like she was like, no, no, thank you. Not at all. But Dana said that she's been spat at twice because she didn't want to give somebody um, her number. I've I've been called a few names because I didn't want to give somebody my number. So do we say, you know, smile and give them our number even when we're not interested? Just for safety. Mm. You have to. You, you better give him that Google Voice wait number. A wait a minute. What's the backstory, Dana? How somebody, how nigga spit on you? Twice. Sis, I'm okay. So I'm I'm from Palmdale, California. This is me, Paul George, and Afro Man. It's very suburban. It's very, I'm very green. I'm coming to DC as an 18 year old kid, right? And so I'm walking down the street, I'm walking up Georgia Avenue from the Metro to campus. And it's <laughs> all the time. And somebody, um, you know, was trying to holler at me. And I, I just, I didn't know, I was afraid. I didn't know what to say. I didn't, I didn't know how to respond. So I just said <clears throat> nothing. And I kept walking. Well, fuck you, bitch. Mm-hmm. And then the niggas fat at me. He that was you? one. Yeah. Mm. And, and what am I, what am I going to do? I'm 18, 19 years old. Whatever. I don't know what to do. I'm not going to fight you. Y'all niggas know I can't fight. And even if I could, I wouldn't fight a man. Like, <laughs> wow. I'm just, I'm afraid for my, and this is a new environment for me. I'm a suburban kid. Like, this is not what I'm accustomed to. I'm not accustomed to, to, to this type of, um, response from men. I'm not used to number one men approaching me this way. I'm certainly not used to them um responding when I reject them. The second time it happened wasn't um that long ago. I think it was um maybe two years ago. I was across the street from uh, North Capitol and um <clears throat> Florida Avenue. So I'm I'm downtown I was going to a bar. I'm there another nigga at the bus stop. I'm walking down the street and I'm walking back to my car. I went to go see a live band and he's talking to me. I'm like, no. And I spoke to him. I said, no, thank you. I'm not interested. Thank you, but have a good night. Well, fuck you, bitch. And spat at me again. And what am I going to do? He what am you? I going to do? I'm not going to fight. Nigga. I don't have a gun on me. I don't have another man with me. It's, it's nothing. 
I, I can do literally nothing but take that shit and um cry about it later, I guess. T you late. That's it. Yo, so I, I think we come into a different root cause. Should women be out that late at night, especially by themselves? I wasn't by What's myself. What's happening? Huh? huh? Sorry, go ahead. You weren't by yourself. You with another woman? No, I was with um, I was with some other friends, but him. I was parked quite literally across the street <clears> on this <throat> very main street and i don't even know how it happened or or who walked who first everybody was drunk we were all fucking drunk normally my friends will walk me to my car this particular night they didn't i probably insisted because i'm an aries and i'm like leave me the fuck alone you i probably yourself. insisted and i right and i'm like i'm on this very well lit busy street i'm literally right across the street you can stand at the door and watch me walk up i'm fine but it happened that happened and nobody was there to um do anything about it but um that's not for me that's not um that's just all a normal right danny thing. danny you gotta you gotta get your thoughts together it's just a normal so, thing that's the normal thing so, Go ahead. so which i think about that though so for instance my wife her cousin in town right but like they went to brunch and like a couple like daytime events, but when she's like, "Hey, show money around 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 Houston," like I know I don't even really know yet, but for the night stuff, she just automatically assumed it's me. Like, what's out there? I mean, I'm not saying y'all shouldn't party, but what do you get at night at this time of night? Especially out in Houston, this shit is. I don't think that is only happening at night. Yeah, I think it it happens whenever a woman is by herself or whenever a man feels like he's rejected because men in this day and age don't know how to receive no. Yes. Well, let's let's use what we have. This was at night, late night. People are often more intoxicated at night. Dana, when you got spit on twice, was it nighttime? No, the first time it was the middle of the day. It was the middle of the day. When you got off the train for going to school? I was, mm-hmm. yeah. The, the first time I, when I was walking from the, the metro to campus, it was the middle of the fucking day. It was daylight. Hmm. Men, Man. especially, and I'm not going to say men in general. Maybe it's a regional thing. Men in this area in particular, in my experience, because I've been here for 20 fucking years, they don't accept rejection well. And so this is how you get the resting bitch face. This is how that was developed, at least for me. I can't speak for every woman in this area, but it's a defense mechanism because if I look like I don't want to be approached and if I look like I'm, I'm not a nice person, then you'll leave me alone because you think I'm a bitch automatically. And that's that works for me. You know what I mean? But can I can I can I add to that, Dana, because that's exactly where it happened to me as well right there on georgia avenue in between petworth and howard like i don't know what it is about the guys around there but you definitely can't um you can't say no or ignore them i guess um so i thought that was funny and it was ironic that that's so you guys you guys think it's less you think the likelihood is the same day and night at a club after the club while everybody's drunk you think the likelihood to be disrespected is the same mm, yeah i think it's worse in a daytime i think the audacity is yeah it's the same throughout the day and the evening it's not worse in the evening okay kev was popping with the two dollar super chat why are we assuming she was telling the truth and i so kev i think you might have logged on a little bit late um we kind of assessed it like sis said it first like she didn't even feel sorry for her because um she seemed like she that type and so i mean there's there's some shit that's fishy about it for sure but should the men have helped sis no they they looked at it they assessed the situation they like oh this bitch full of shit. you know and they just watched on that's how i that's how i'm visualizing it no, they shouldn't have jumped in that. No, 
Damn. Damn. Anybody think they should have came to her defense? No? Now, maybe what you said, yes. you know, if you're standing no. in proximity and you see the nigga with the brick and you're just like, whoa, 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 you know, do something like That's that. That's what I think. They should have stepped I, in like that. Like, nah, yeah. that, it ain't even working. Yeah. Like, Not I for him. Yeah. And they were like, you know, seemed like she was acting nasty all night. And who, she's, she's saying that at the hospital, I look better than you niggas. No, no telling what she was actually saying out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yo, sis, what you think about this? She not black. She's Somalian or some shit. That's what they saying in the chat. The African. Well, that's the first reason why I didn't feel. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Why like KS? That. My fault with the five dollar super chat. She deserves what she got. Mm, mm, mm. You don't get to choose how people respond to disrespect. Women have become too comfortable disrespecting men. She learned. Jeez. Right. Savage with the five dollars. I won't. I won't be in hell. I'll be in Abraham's bosom. Ladies today are just men with innies. Gotta watch your tongue. <laughs> Damn. G firm with the five bucks. G firm was good. You late? Any man who attacks a woman because of rejection is mentally disturbed. That's far from normal behavior. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Skip my super chat. Wow. I gotta put myself put him in a fucking bed. Get him out of here. Come on. Damn. So, okay. So, Dana, you don't think the guy should have helped her either? Are you asking if the surrounding guys who witnessed what was going on should have stepped in? Yeah. Um, at, yeah. Yeah. Because at the point where um, a brick was involved... Certainly, somebody should they could have and should have stepped in. It's one thing to not want to get involved with people who are having um domestic or whatever you, you, I guess you just assume it's domestic disputes because you that those aren't your people, you, you're not friends with them, you don't know what's happening, you mind your own business. So, it's one thing to just like maintain that stance and like mind your, your business, but when you see a nigga pick up a motherfucking brick. Like, all bets are off at that point. Like, somebody absolutely should intervene because at the end of the day, Ham, he could have killed her. Mm -hmm. He could have killed her. Or, this, or, or, this, or me stepping in. Maybe you too. Maybe you too. I don't know. But at the end of the day, like, I feel like um, the odds are better with you trying to defuse the situation with him um, holding the brick to her head than her trying to defend herself against this man who wants to fucking kill her or who wants to inflict so... When you raise a brick to somebody's head, you want to inflict a type of violence that is not... Um, not that any violence is normal. So you that shit is extreme. In it's extreme. It's extreme. So you would have you got busy. You would have got involved. I would have gotten involved, yes. Would you think you would have went into the um, bar with Blizzard too? Oh, Y'all don't know black movies. Okay. My internet is acting up. What'd you say? Nah, you wouldn't have went in the bar with Blizzard. Don't worry about it. OMAC, what's popping? <laughs> 10 hours of death. Something smells. Number one, no video of the actual incident, no call to 911. No police report. <laughs> Hitting the face with a brick, but no blood. <laughs> Multiple Golden Fund Me accounts. Scammer. <laughs> Man, might be on the side. I, don't, I think you might be right, but I think she definitely got hit with something. That's for damn sure. Mm -hmm. Ain't that much acting in the world to make your face swell like that. Damn. And then that's a real lump because you remember the initial lump was almost like in the form of where she got hit at type shit. And then the rest of her face finally caught up when she got to the damn hospital. But nah, those are some good points. G firm with the two bucks. Somalian is still black, Hamp. Yeah, I mean, with the lowercase B, yeah. I mean, shit, East Indians probably call themselves black. But when I said black, G firm, I'm like capital B, right? Because they often define black Americans. That's what I meant, if that makes sense. Hmm. 
<clears throat> I just do y'all do y'all feel my point when I'm like, why didn't she get out of there? Mm-hmm. She was probably drunk and she was still talking her shit. That's really what it was. Because apparently she's a, she's a TikTok, but she's also she's a TikToker, so she was probably doing a lot of that stuff for TikTok. She's getting content. That's what it seemed like to me. That's probably why she didn't get out of there. She was having a good time. She was turning up. She just didn't think it was going to escalate to that point. But yeah, Tatum, we had we played it um earlier. Um, I got a clip that has the, that in it, bro. It, man. Interesting, interesting. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Let me get who I missed. So I got Tatum. There you go. KP was good. I owe my wife and daughters my life, not strangers. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit Matt, like that. Matt Shit was like good. That. Five dollars. Like Two weeks of house renovation is not fun. Cast a replay while y'all have a good show and smile, Dana. Damn. <laughs> Damn. So that's not a, mm, mm. not a topic. There's nothing to smile about, but thank you. I will smile. Go ahead. Yeah. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. You got to get your composure, man. You Ooh. interrupting super chats. You cutting me off. You telling me to shut up. All I types didn't tell of you shit. To shut up. Wow. I, I told you to shut up tonight. Oh, maybe not. I just added it in, but you catch my drift. It's all into your energy right now. You good? You need to call HR I'm or something tired. like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Damn. Go off. Go off, Cam. So, 